Yo, welcome to African Tech Grad, your host, Tato. Today we're going to be doing RAIN 5G standard. But is it really 5G? Okay, so before we get into the meat and potatoes of the review, I want to give you a brief overview of what communication networks are. Okay, so first we had 0G. 0G was the basic introduction of the phone. Then we moved on to 1G. 1G allowed people to have phones on the go, but they were still really chunky. They only really fit in your car. Then we, 10 years later, we moved on to 2G. 2G was revolutionary because it allowed us to do things like browse the web. 3G allowed us to do things like make video calls. 4G allowed us to do things like play online games, stream videos in 4K. 5G is going to allow us to use VR and AR devices utilize the capabilities of self-driving cars and IoT devices. Well, that's what 5G promises. With that being said, there are two main types of 5G, millimeter waves and sub-6. Sub-6 waves give you more range, but less speed. Millimeter waves give you more speed, but are easily obstructed by things like doors, walls, and trees. So basically, you're gonna be, need to be in direct line of sight with the tower you're trying to connect to to get good millimeter wave coverage. Rain in South Africa right now is utilizing sub-6, meaning you're not gonna have much problems getting signal through things like walls. However, you do sacrifice a little bit on that speed, which could be a bummer for some. But anyway, we move on. Where can I sign up, you ask? Well, currently the only place where you can sign up is the Rain website, which I will link in the description below. When you get to the website, you're gonna be greeted with two 5G packages the premium and the standard. The standard promises 30 megabit per second speeds and the ability to stream at 720p. It doesn't say how many devices. The premium promises the ability to stream at full HD on multiple devices, which is 1080p and 200 meg speeds. Oh, they took that off the website. That's because they got sued. So upon delivery, what you can expect to get in the box is a Huawei CPE router and a RAIN 5G SIM card. Basically, the person that delivers the router to you is gonna need your proof of residence and your ID, which could be a driver's license, your actual ID, anything of the sort. He or she is gonna record your documents and start the RECA process. Once that's complete, you can slap that 5G SIM card inside that router and you're good to go. Okay, so speaking about the Huawei router, because it is Huawei, it comes with a lot of add-ons that are really cool, like an AI app, a command center on your computer, but more on that later. Before we get into that dope control center, let's talk about why you really came here. You wanna know how fast it is. And the results, very interesting. Okay, so the first test we're gonna do is on test my net. We're gonna do combined. It's a very reliable testing site. It's been good for me in the past. Looks like we might get a good download speed. It's going pretty quick. Can we hit a hiccup right there? It might not be our best. Slowing down now. We're just downloading a 25 megabit file, megabyte, sorry. Okay. Our test is almost complete. Okay, wow, our download speed is 24 megabits per second and upload is 13.5. Pretty shocking. This should be 5G, you should be expecting 5G. The website promised 30. But I guess you could live off of this, but I would expect more, especially in a test. Let's run another test just to see what we get. Uh, I think I'm gonna run the Google speed test, the generic speed test. Let's see what happens over here. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more positive. Oh, we're dropping speed. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a little bit better than our previous test, but it's keeping with the times, I guess you could say. The upload is a little bit less, like 0.5? Oh, it's the same upload. Wow. We got almost exactly the same upload and about 10 megabits more download. The latency is 7. 7 millisecond latency. And as you can see, we're in the Cape, of course. Okay, so we're doing a football manager download test to give you a real world usage look at how, how you can expect to download games. As you can see, you're getting about two to three megabyte per second speeds. It just jumped up to four. 
I usually get from three to four megabit per second speeds downloading a game. I recently downloaded GTA and it took me about seven hours. It's a plus minus 95 gigabit game. So I guess that gives you a bit of, a bit of an idea of what to expect when using this. Let's start with the pros. In my experience, I've been getting good latency. Not great, but good. Lower than 10, usually eight, nine or seven. And that results in good gaming performance in my opinion. The main reason I got good gaming performance was the reliability. In my personal experience, the reliability was very good. I didn't drop packets while gaming and I had a consistent FPS while gaming online. I also had port forwarding to my aid. On the online control center, you can set up port forwarding for any game of your liking. But the real value proposition here is that this product is uncapped and only costs 699. I managed to use one terabyte in only two months of having the product, which I think is a pretty fair deal. However, as always, they are cons. The first of which is customer service. Rain has no physical stores which you can visit. So the only way to speak to someone about your product is online. And in my experience, it took over a week to get a reply over email. A week! which is bonkers. The second con is speed. Now, let me be honest. You cannot stream Twitch while your brother watches YouTube videos in UHD and your grandmother streams 4K videos of cats. As a matter of fact, you cannot even stream Netflix in 4K on this Rain 5G network. On many occasions, this 5G network even loses out to oppositions 4G speeds, which is honestly very disappointing. But then again, that ties back to the value proposition. This is not meant to be the fastest internet in the world. It's internet for the masses. And many consumers are confused by this. Consumers expect the fastest speed because they see 5G and do not realize that you are capped to 30 megabits per second. As we conclude this review, I feel like I should explain who exactly this package is for. If you're a big family who wants to all stream 4K at the same time, game while streaming on Twitch, this is not for you. I would rather opt for the premium package or one of the competitors packages, but that's going to cost a lot more. This package is for the individual or small group of people who casually game, casually stream, or just go online to do work-related stuff like Zoom calls or Skype. The person who doesn't want to worry and check how much data do I have left. The family doesn't have to worry and check, oh, can we watch Netflix tonight? Do we have enough data? So if this product's not for you, I would strongly suggest you check out the Rain Premium, the MTN 5G or Vodacom 5G, all of which will give you way better speeds. Otherwise, you could opt for Fiber, which is going to give you that open NAT type, of course. If you want us to review any of those, leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one. Your host, Tato, African Tech Grad. Catch you on the next one.